I think I was biking up to 150 miles a week. I was biking quite a bit. A lot of wind, a lot of sand, a lot of dust. That dust may have carried fungal spores that infected Chris Sams with valley fever, a lung infection caused by breathing in the spores that live in the soil but can become airborne. I was always sick. I was worn down. I lost a massive amount of weight. And, and that's really what threw us over the edge is that something was going wrong. Chris ended up in the hospital. And they put me in isolation floor because they didn't know if I had cancer, tuberculosis, or if it was the continuance of valley fever. Tests confirmed it was valley fever, also known as coccidiodomycosis, or coxy. The majority of people who get coxy recover well on their own. But in a small number of people, like Chris, the fungal spores can spread beyond the lungs, causing severe, even life-threatening symptoms. Less than 5% of people have it spread outside of the lung. It can go to many different places, bones, soft tissues, and potentially the central nervous system. And unfortunately, while it is a small percentage of people, when it does get into the central nervous system, it causes potentially devastating consequences. In Chris's case, the spores had spread to his brain. That's when he sought help at Mayo Clinic's Coxie Clinic in Arizona, where a multidisciplinary team of specialists treat the most serious and complex cases of valley fever. Now we have on our roadmap, we have a direction on where we're going because otherwise everything is just spiraling out of control. Chris began undergoing a special treatment delivered every few weeks right to his brain. It's an antifungal medication which can be delivered intravenously, um, but can also be delivered directly into what we call the intrathecal space, which is essentially directly into the spaces where we have the spinal fluid. The good news, doctors say Chris is showing signs of improvement. They think that there is an end in sight and hopefully we'll wean off of the intrathecal treatments. Doctors have yet to determine how long the treatments will need to continue, but Chris is confident he's heading in the right direction and with the right team. I have the best committed team around that talk to me, care about me, talk to me as a person, and want me fixed. So yeah, I, I know that they they want to have some resolution to this. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Marty Velasco-Hames.